okay uh, previ uh, previously i have already discussed about the algorithm and flow chart just uh, briefly dis uh, discuss about algorithm and flow chart and uh, in algorithm basically a third semester you will get a course uh, data structure and algorithm and also you will get another course in seventh semester algorithm engineering okay uh, but uh, here just I, I am relating to algorithm and flow chart because uh, if we want to solve any problem uh, so we need to analyze the problem first so we can analyze the problem through algorithm and also the flow chart uh, so since i have already discussed about the algorithm part in uh, previous class previous uh, starting or some class that's just here a brief about the algorithm i just uh, shared some uh, uh, basic definition the algorithm can be defined as a sequence of activities or sequence of step or a predefined some step predefined or some assumption some, some assumption that we can solve a problem this way this is this is basically algorithm the sequence of activities to be processed for getting desired output from a given input this is basic definition of algorithm and also we put a uh, defines an algorithm as a formula or set of steps for for solving a particular problem uh, to be an algorithm a set of rules must be unambiguous and have a clear stopping point this is the just basic definition but basic step is that suppose uh, I, we want to uh, solve a problem uh, like this one mm, suppose this one the write an algorithm to print good money just uh, you need to print it in your uh, uh, output uh, device that uh, print the good money sorry skin oh, sorry okay now you can see the script yes sir okay so basically this is the just fundamental algorithm we, you have already uh, solved many problem in uh, chapter one two three four uh, so it's a, a simple problem to write an algorithm to print good money so this is the step just step one is start step two print good money step three stop this is the simple problem another problem is that uh, let us take one simple day-to-day -day example by writing algorithm for making a Maggi noodles as a food. This is the simple step. This step is basically called the algorithm. Okay. So this is one kind of problem solving strategy or problem solving procedure. But this type of problem can also solve another issue, another way that is called basically flow chart. That, that's why I'm relating to algorithm and flow chart. This is another algorithm, write an algorithm to find area of a rectangle. Uh, basically, step is that uh, start, take, we can take length and width or breadth, uh, you can do any type of define, length and width, multiply length and width, and store it in area, print area, stop. This is the simple step. So we can draw this five step in some symbol that is called uh, the flow chart. So we'll uh, go uh, later. Uh, this is another example, basically write an algorithm to check whether he is, uh, he is eligible to vote or not. Basically, in our country, we can, uh, we will, uh, uh, we can, uh, we will able to vote if our age is greater than 80, or 80 or greater than 80. That means more than or equal to 80 years old, then we will, uh, can uh, participate in our uh, uh, election. So this is the, basically here, uh, this is the problem. So, and condition is that, that the more than or equal to 80, 18 years old, if uh, you can eligible to give vote. So this is, so how can you solve the problem? The algorithm better step is that, um, someone noise, Sami. So if need, you can ra raise your hand or you can unmute and then talk. Okay, so this is the basic step. They start take as and store it in as we can uh, store in a variable. Then we can compare it and take decision. Yes, if is greater than 18, then go to step four and in step five, print eligible to vote and go to step six, print not eligible to vote. This is the simple, simple step. 
and this is the we can also call it pseudocode some way we can also call it pseudocode and also you can see another problem i think so uh, some of you uh, use two device at a together that's why the problem so you, you need to mute one one for a log out one so write an algorithm to check whether a given number is positive negative or zero so this is the, the simple step we start take a number and store it in n any variable check in n value if n greater than zero then go to step five we'll go to step four or check n value if n, n less than zero then go to step six else go else go to step seven so the basically this is step five print given number is positive go to step eight that means stop print given number is negative go to step eight print given number is zero go to step eight the simple uh, uh, simply step eight this is the just basic problem so so this type of problem we just see that we can uh, analyze the problem and some we can write some step and solve the uh, solve this problem just step but i i am not sure the exact output is come or not so this is one way and this is the just text procedure and this type of problem can we also we can also solve by another way that is called basically flow chart so this is our main topics uh, flow chart because this uh, uh, flow chart we uh, we want to uh, draw uh, so solve it and then draw in uh, another software we will uh, learn today so flow chart basically a diagram uh, which uh, which presents the flow of data through processing system basically flow chart is a one kind of pictorial representation which usually pre presents the flow of data through processing system how the data is uh, flow from one step to another way. This means by seeing a flow chart to flow chart, one can know the operations performed and the sequence of this operation in a in a system. That is that means uh, previously we see some steps uh, to solve a problem, and this type of step we can uh, represent through a pictorial representation. And algorithms are nothing but a sequence of steps for solving problems. Already uh, we have defined that that is the algorithm some steps so a flow chart can be used for presenting an algorithm that's why we need to learn the uh, see some algorithm and then we will uh, present that algorithm through a flow chart so a flow chart can be used for presenting an algorithm a flow chart will describe the operations uh, a flow chart basically a flow chart is a type uh, this diagrammatic representation uh, basically flowchart shows the steps as boxes of various kinds and their order by connecting the boxes with arrows and this diagram diagrammatic representation illustrates the solution model to a given problem so we will see some basic uh, symbol basically this is the this is the starting symbol uh, arrow line uh, this is terminal line so starting end we can use this symbol uh, this is the process. If we uh, define kinds of step one, step two, uh, we can use this symbol. And this this symbol for decision making. This is called diamond diamond symbol, diamond shape. And basically shows a conditional operation. That means if condition, else condition, or uh, uh, while loop. We can use this one for this uh, to take any decision. Uh, that means uh, show a conditional operation that determines which one of the two paths. The diagram will take. That means condition is false, true, then you need to go this way. Condition is false, then you need to go other way. Basically, with this type of uh, operation is commonly a yes no question or true false test represented as a diamond. This symbol. Uh, this is input output uh, processing. We can use this symbol for input output to take the variable initialization to uh, declare the variable. We will use this uh, symbol indicates the process of inputting and outputting the data and as in entering the data displaying the result represented as a parallelogram and also this one annotation comment that means indicate additional information if we need any any additional comment then we can use this shape and also this one show named or process function which is defined is that 
that means predefined process or function if we want to use any function or predefined process then we can use this symbol uh, basically represented as a rectangle with double stack vertical is and this one pairs of labeled connectors replace long or confusing lines on a flowchart page represented by a small circle with a letter inside on page connector basically if your uh, flowchart will go for two space one page and then the rest of the part to another page then we can use this uh, symbol for connecting and this one for off page connector a label connector for use when the target is on another page represented as a home plate shape pentagon and this one for magnetic stress or any stress backup, magnetic waste for a secondary stress backup. Uh, this one, uh, another type of stress backup, this symbol is we can use, we will use. Uh, basically, these all symbols which define, basically this def, uh, did uh, NC, American St National Standard Institute, set standards for this flowchart and their symbols in this 1960s. Basically, uh, we, I have already showed some uh, pictorial form that is defined by the NCs. NC, this that is an organization, they have defined these uh, rules that if you want to use the input, if you, if you want to use uh, processing or diamond uh, or any decision, you need to use diamond or any input output, you need to use a rectangle parallelogram. Uh, so this is the standard. So if I ask you to, solve a problem like uh, we can see a problem like this one they, that's uh, draw a flow chart to find the simple interest you see a, this is a programming problem they, you need to draw a flow chart to find the simple interest basically simple interest so you have already known simple interest uh, basically related to uh, simple interest this is the basic calculation uh, simple interest SI is calculated based on principal, based on rate of interest and based on T. You see, this is the basic calculation of a simple interest calculation. So, so here they have already used the starting symbol. This is the starting symbol we can use. This is the ending symbol. We can use this symbol. This, uh, this uh, uh, ellipse type shape, we can use this symbol. And for input processing, input and print, we can uh, we have used the uh, parallelogram input p r t this is the input parameter p this is the uh, uh, another parameter and our others parameter and this is the process so if we want to any process organic calculation we just use this symbol rectangle symbol si equal to p into r into t uh, divided 100 and last lastly we just print print si so this is the basically a flow chart to find the simple interest. Okay, do you understand or not? Do you understand or not? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Do you understand yes, sir. this problem? Understand. Okay, do you have any confusion? Basically, no, sir. You have already no, studied many types of problem. That's why I think it's not a, uh, uh, not so much difficult because you have already solved solved the problem in program, programming language. So, yes, the, uh, but you need to solve the uh, problem for this uh, flow chart because you, uh, uh, we will uh, learn today another software, Microsoft Visio, to draw this uh, uh, flow chart. Okay, that's why I I, uh, I I have taken this class. So this is the basic uh, step to find uh, to uh, to find the simple interest. So another problem we can see. So another pro pro programming problem, you have already solved this problem in a class, add two numbers, enter the user. So this is the basically problem, add two numbers, enter the user. Okay, so we can use the start, uh, start and end or stop, you can write start end or start stop. So declare variables n1, n2 and sum, read n, n1 and n2 two variable, sum n1 plus n2 display sum. So this is the simple step. Do you understand that? All here we have used, uh, you can use the uh, uh, read N1 and N2, you see the parallelogram and process we have used the rectangle and display that means print, you can use the display sum. So you can use different way, no problem. Previously I have used input, print, or you can use this one, read, sum. It's not a big issue. 
the, the you need to fear no fixed format, but symbol is a fixed. You must use the symbol. And this type of flow chart, when you will do in seventh semester uh, uh, thesis and project course, this type of flow chart you need to present and you need to draw based on your uh, software development project uh, or based on your thesis, you need to draw uh, yeah, when you have done your thesis uh, because there is a pathology chapter. So you need to present this flow chart. And of course, you need to follow the standard rules of NC, so such kind of symbol. Okay, so this is so this is a such simple simple problem. Add two numbers, enter the user. So another problem we can see given the below is the flow chart for finding an average three numbers. Okay, so start stop, read three numbers A B C, compute sum, compute average, then print average. Do you understand? Do you understand yes. this? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the simple way. So now we can uh, solve another issue. We can see another uh, problem that draw a flow chart to input two numbers from the user and display the largest two numbers. I think you, ha you have already solved this problem that uh, uh, input two numbers from the user and display the largest. A and B, you can take number one, number two, C start, input number one, input number two from your keyboard. And uh, you can compare number one, get at the number two. If true, then display number one. Else or else are false, the display number two. If number one get at the number two, then number one is a positive. Uh, that, that means uh, largest, uh, large number or display number two. Uh, if false, then uh, number two is a, 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 that means largest number. So you can we, we can uh, present the two present the two numbers from the user and display the largest of two numbers. So uh, here you can see that we have used the decision-making symbol. Okay, so just compare, uh, when we compare number one to number two, we can use a decision-making symbol. So this is also just simple calculation, uh, simple presentation. So now another problem we can see that find the largest among three different numbers entered by the user. Okay. Find the largest among three different numbers entered by the user. So here you can see. So how can we present? So, in, uh, sorry. Sir. Yes. Hello. Sir, the agita this input n doi ban isla na input n one or n two. Ede ki ek bar ek ta decision hai mothe input n one n two nea jaaye. Ha ha nea jaaye. No problem. You can take. You can declare both one at a time. No problem. So previously we have already uh, declared declared variable number one, number two, sum. You see here. So it's basically it depends on you, but you need to use exact symbol for exact declaration. Sir, yes. Exam एक लोग क्यों हमें आज में? Exam है. So exam. Uh, I ask. Uh, suppose this is the problem. Find the largest among three different numbers entered by the use. Write a flow chart. Uh, uh, show a flow chart for to find the largest among three different numbers entered by the user. So you need to draw this flow chart. Yes, sir, Do you sir. understand? Yes, sir. You need to draw. Uh, in that case, you need to draw this flow chart. Okay. Sir, or a singular zone is a box. Glow, glow, sir. I mean, take care, act, have it. Take care. Yes, this is the basic task. You need yes. to draw. You need to draw the exact symbol for exact. Expression or exact statement, because you know already for declaration, if you use a diamond shape for declaration, so this is not actually uh, uh, this is pro, uh, wrong. Okay, so for yes, taking sir. decision, you need to use the diamond symbol. Yes, okay, and also the logic. Okay, basically flow chart is a um, pre pre uh, pre solution of uh, programming language. Do you understand? Pre-solution, that is, you can see that, find the largest among three different numbers entered by the user. So if you follow this uh, flow chart, you can easily code it in programming language. So uh, uh, so you know, if you want to join a software company, basically, uh, uh, if a customer will give you a project for development his uh, task, so basically problem solving, uh, total project analysis is 70%. Only 30% is your coding. 
okay because if one time uh, if you analyze your, your your problem based on the software requirement analysis and among the uh, uh, flow chart is one kind of analysis so you will define uh, your uh, uh, output will not so much, uh, your output accuracy will uh, i think 90 95% this way but if your analysis is not correct or exact way you need to uh, do do the uh, same same work again and again that's why uh, we need to use this uh, 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 algorithm flow chart or software uh, uh, software development life cycle in different stages there uh, uh, there you can see this, see that uh, different kinds of uh, solving procedure different kinds of analysis after that finally you need to code okay so this is this problem you can see the we we have taken the start end symbol start stop symbol we have take uh, declared the variables abc we we, we are now read it abc and uh, if uh, here is a condition is a greater than b if a greater than b if true then we <coughs> again compare a greater than c if true then uh, uh, a uh, sorry if a greater than b true a greater than C, true, print A. So uh, we, we will find that uh, the uh, largest number A. So if A greater than B is false, then we can compare it B greater than C. So B greater than C is uh, true, then we will print it B. Otherwise, false, print C. Otherwise, uh, so if A greater than C is false, uh, then we can uh, print C. So both way, they, uh, you can see this. So if the decision, this uh, decision is false, then also print the C. If uh, this diamond shape output is false, then we can we will print C. After that, they stop. So you uh, so you need to write, uh, draw this symbol based on the problem in exam. If the if this type of exam will come, uh, sorry, this type of question will come. Okay. So uh, this problem, do you have any confusion? No, sir. Okay. So another problem we can see, find all the roots of a quadratic equation. So have you uh, solved this problem in programming language already? No, sir. Quadratic equation, you have all uh, familiar, I think, quadratic equation in intermediate, you have already solved this problem. Yes, sir. X square plus BX plus C. So we know the root. Uh, uh, I think uh, minus b plus minus uh, sorry root over b square minus four ac. Do, uh, do you remember? That's a niche. I was b square minus four ac is equal to niche. Niche. I was Okay. So basically, find the root. Find all the roots of a quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic equation solving. So you need to study this one. So if you face any problem, then we will uh, discuss. So, okay, I will uh, share this uh, slide in Google Classroom. So you can see this, the just start, declare uh, variables uh, A, B, C, D, X1, X2, and I, uh, others. Uh, then calculate the discriminant, that means discriminant, B square minus 4 is we can calculate. If D greater than equal to zero, then another issue, the, uh, this way the problem will solve, if false, then this way a uh, problem will be solved. Then display R1 and R2. R1, R2 is the basic root of this equation. So you need to uh, present this uh, uh, this way. <coughs> so you need to uh, also, so I think you have already solved this. Uh, so do you do you solve this problem in C language? What no, sir. Uh, okay. I think next any chapter you will get this problem. So another problem you will see, I think you, uh, you know the Fibonacci number, Fibonacci series. Do you have familiar Fibonacci series? Yes, sir. Okay, so we can, we, uh, so this is the Fibonacci series, basically find the Fibonacci series till the term 1000 or equal to. So your uh, 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 loop will uh, terminate when the term less than or equal to 1000. So you see that, uh, so for Fibonacci, uh, have you already solved this Fibonacci in throw programming language? Yes, sir. Any, anyone solve? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm solve for C. Only you. Yes, Abra? sir. Abra, are you there? 
टोटल लुप उ छोट हमारा এটা জাস্ট প্রবলেমটা এইভাবে বলে দিছি জাস্ট আই ডিক্লেয়ার দ্যাট প্রবলেম ইজ দিস স্যার জি স্যার দেখো স্যার রিকার্স স্যার এটা তো লুপ ইউজ করে করা হয়েছে স্যার রিকারশনের জন্য আমাদের এই যে ফ্লো চার্টটা কেমন হবে রিকার্স রিকার্স সলভ করেছিলাম স্যার মাহবুব স্যারের ক্লাসে মাহবুব স্যারের ক্লাসে ফিবোনাচ্চি কি রিকারশিপ দিয়ে করছিলা জি স্যার আচ্ছা না মাহবুব স্যার ফিবোনাচ্চি রিকারশন দিয়ে করায় নাই रिकारशन प्रब्लेम throw the flow chart no no issue so here is the, the simple issue, simple way. you can also uh, but recursion is related to uh, fibonacci recurs okay let me check Mm. factorial is related to recursion so integer factorial yes sir ha ishet tai koreslo ar ncc er boi e o ishet ta ache ncc boi ha factorial di ache fibonacci diya nai fibonacci ache dekhis tu ami bolte chhi na okay recursion problem can solve through my fibonacci problem can solve through recursion no problem so you can solve this way. so this is the basic problem so in mathematical term the sequence of fn or fibonacci number is defined by the recurrence relation okay fn equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 this is the basic relation and here seed value is f no f uh, 0 equal to 0 and f1 equal to 1 so you can calculate also uh, uh, fibonacci number through recursion no problem so then you need to present the uh, fibonacci uh, recursion problem uh, not this way so based on the recursion you need to show the uh, uh, that means the symbol to represent the recursion no problem okay anyway you can solve no issue 
so this this is the one way to solve this problem and uh, so user defined the uh, uh, so fibonacci we can put any uh, termination symbol we can uh, i axis to termination symbol or you can give any uh, term, uh, terminate point uh, that uh, 1000 uh, or 100 uh, when that uh, starting term is 100 then we'll terminate so it depends on the user no problem so uh, this is the find the fibonacci another problem and you can see the another issue, draw a closer to find the biggest number among two numbers. So it, we have already, uh, so it, this way you can, you can also uh, present the, uh, or you can also solve this, uh, this problem. The, through the start input, the just two number, then you can compare, then print or print or stop. Just uh, you, you have used the decision-making input symbol and start symbol, that's all. And another issue, the another uh, this is the factorial problem. Okay, so this is a, the, uh, this way you can also solve the factorial. You can also solve uh, the factorial through uh, recursion, no issue. So this this is another another way to solve the factorial. Factorial uh, problem you can solve many different ways. And another issue that uh, find the biggest number among n numbers. Okay, draw a flowchart to find biggest number among n numbers. You uh, so. You, you can solve this way. And another issue is that for grading. So start input, five marks we have uh, taken that uh, after your first, uh, first semester exam, when we'll, uh, when we'll calculate your uh, GPA, uh, then we need to have, have, have a, then you need to add all your marks in first semester course then we'll average, uh, average it, or then we can uh, use the grade. So it, it, this is the one issue. So you start input grade, or you can use the, uh, that means the uh, you can, uh, total grade, you have just grade with uh, average for subject, then you can compare the grade. If uh, grade less than five, 50, then you see the fail, uh, le uh, sorry. So I think uh, there is a, problem if grade grade um, total marks less than 50 then should be failed if less than 50 then should be failed if get uh, less uh, otherwise pass so is grade less than 50 the, if this condition is uh, true then fail i think the, uh, uh, it, it's correct and if not true then uh, uh, print the pass so you can also of uh, show the uh, show the uh, this problem great problem uh, through this only four symbol. Another issue that this is another issue. So you need to convert through your uh, length. Uh, that means uh, draw a flowchart to convert the length in feet to centimeter. So just simple way. Start input, then convert it to a thirty. The multiply thirty the uh, uh, feet, and then print the. Uh, print in centimeter, length in centimeter. So uh, this is another one. Just draw a flowchart to read the two sides of a rectangle and calculate its area. Uh, so this this is the basically the uh, flowchart some example. So why do we use basically flowchart? Basically, uh, we need to use flowchart for some some advantages. Uh, basically, pictorial representation of a solution or system is having many advantages. Among the communication, effective analysis, document of program or system, efficient program maintenance, and coding of the program. These five is the is for the uh, advantages of using flowchart. So you are communication. That means that means a flowchart can be used as a better way for communication of the logic of a system. So you can uh, your uh, logic concept or your concept can be more clear if you uh, solve your uh, problem to just symbolic symbolic way that means you can uh, you can see where is the, where is my problem uh, where, where, uh, our pro problem data is uh, solved which way that means it steps involved in the solution and to all concerned particular to the client system so be, uh, if you when you are uh, doing a job in a software system software company so if you can present the overall project through a particular uh, uh, flowchart, then uh, your uh, then customer will easily understand that how, uh, 
the, the exact output the customer want and the, the employer solve, is it correct or not? So if and need any modi modification, then programmer, then a, a customer suggests that I need this one. So in that case, programmer can, uh, or uh, pro program, uh, project an analyzer or project manager can easily uh, modify it. So this is the basic issue, that, that communication. Another is effective analysis. Closer of a problem can be used for effective analysis of the problem. This is the effective way for analysis of problem. And another issue that documentation of program or system. This is the basically a documentation. Program flow start are a vital part of a good program documentation because when you are doing a project, then you need to document, uh, document you need to do all, uh, all steps in a documented. That means program document is used for various purposes like knowing the components of the program and complexity of the program, you know, uh, you can, uh, you know the easily the component complexity of the pro, uh, program. And another issue is that efficient uh, program maintenance. That means once a program is developed and becomes operational, it needs time to time maintenance. So with the help of flowchart, maintenance can become easier because uh, your, if your uh, overall problem, uh, overall problem uh, already uh, uh, represented through flowchart, then if need, uh, because every website or every project, software project, regularly main, regularly need to maintain. So if you need any modification, you can easily uh, just uh, check the flowchart and ask the programmer to hire to uh, modify it. So this is another advantage. And another is the coding of the program. That means any design of solution of a problem is finally converted into computer program. So writing code referring the flowchart to the solution become easy. So if you can present your problem through a flowchart, then you can easily convert converted to any programming language. So these five is the best advantages of using flowchart. But although this advantage, this uh, uh, flowchart has some disadvantage also about limitation, not disadvantage, limitation of using flowchart, basically complexity of logic. When if program logic is complex, then flowchart of the program becomes complica complicated. Then you could not, you need to uh, uh, divide the overall program into sub, sub flowchart. But complex, uh, more complex problem cannot be solved in uh, uh, easy, easy way to uh, uh, flow chart. Alternation and modification in logic. Any alteration in the program logic may require redrawing the flow chart completely. This is another another big issue. So any alteration in the program. Suppose uh, the factorial problem. If you want to say one way or Fibonacci problem, I just show you one way to solve. But if you want to solve the Fibonacci through a recursion you need to redraw the, uh, re re redraw the uh, overall problem. So that's a big, that's a, another dis, uh, limitation. And of course, the reuse is not possible. So as the flowchart symbols cannot be typed, always reproduction of flowchart symbols are re re required. So re reuse is not possible. Uh, this is an, uh, these three is the limitation of using the flowchart. So now we can, uh, we are, so do you have any confusion about uh, to understand the flow chart? No, Do you sir. have any confusion? No, sir. Is, there a, is there anyone? Okay, so if, if you don't have any confusion, then we are now going to how we draw this flow chart. You can easily draw through Microsoft Word or different kinds of software we, are, uh, we can use. Uh, here we, ha we are use, using the another uh, a software that's name is Microsoft Visio. Do you familiar with this software? No, no, sir. Sir. Okay. no, sir. Basically, this is Microsoft uh, Office package. So, you know, Microsoft Office is a software suite. Do you know? Yes, sir. Microsoft Office is a software suite or software package. In Microsoft Office, there are many, many uh, indiv uh, individual software. So, you know, to Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, sorry, Visio 2016, Word 2016, PowerPoint all are included in the Microsoft package, or you need to individually install this, this software. So I will share you the uh, backup copy, uh, Microsoft video. So this is, if I, we are uh, opening this software, this is the basic uh, uh, graphical user interface of Microsoft uh, video. So we can draw different kinds of symbolic representation, any kinds of um, different kinds of symbolic representation. So. Here, basic diagram, blank diagram, basic flowchart, 
then organization chart you can draw network diagram that means different kinds of uh, computer network how you draw uh, different kinds of database azure diagram uh, then cross sectional functional flow chart a uh, workflow diagram basic network diagram another issue uh, then i think uml diagram user modified language that means software uh, when you are studying the software engineering then you, you, uml class is also you need to draw and also basic electrical sub software basic electrical circuit you can draw uh, through this software uh, active directory i think if you are using uh, microsoft uh, windows server operating system or different kinds of networking operating system you can use different kinds of uh, symbol here a rag diagram if you want to draw uh, networks uh, data center or like this one so you can use uh, you can also see different kinds of uh, symbol here so basically this software is used for different kinds of uh, different kinds of drawing that means basic building uh, building block drawing so since we are drawing the uh, flow chart so we can take this uh, template and if uh, when you draw so we can basic close out this option and we will take the metric un us units and also create a individual page so i have already discussed all this symbol already so when you draw or anything you want to draw so you see different kinds of symbol already here or if you draw completely new we can delete this one so if i suppose i uh, i want to draw this this simple uh, i think the simple flow chart so basically you can use the uh, input processing uh, you can see that the starting symbol not present here process okay starting symbol we can use this one this is the starting so you just drag drag the uh, icon uh, in this uh, working uh, work space and right button click you can uh, add text or you can uh, type text uh, you can choose the, the font size i think you start okay then uh, we can see the input symbol uh, i think the input symbol okay parallelogram we'll take this one here you can see the mouse icon and resize it through this sorry so you need to click this one pointer and then you need to increase this uh, figure uh, symbol size and add text you need to input p r t okay so another issue is that uh, just symbol i process symbol so this is the process sorry so i need to click this one okay i can add text i uh, need to increase the font i will increase the font together after the uh, all text s i equal to p e star r star t so this is the and we need to print it so you need to dis, uh, duplicate it so this one just press control you see normally the uh, mouse pointer is uh, this way but if we uh, press the control key you see the symbol has changed so i need to drag this one then you duplicate automatically duplicate or you can uh, take from this one so print 
Yes, sir. And then again, I need to duplicate this one. End or stop. Okay. So basically, this is the symbol. So I need to control A. All text is selected. I need to choose all font, all font color. I need to change. Okay. But this one, uh, I need to change this way. And basically, I, uh, I need to add the arrow symbol. Mm, okay. Arrow symbol, I need to go here. Select this line. And also the line style. I need to check this one. Okay. You see the if I select any arrow, so one dimensional since this is a one one directional, so I need to check this one and I need to select this one, and also I need to uh, increase the width of this line. So I need to select this one from here line width, and I can say uh, clear this color. Mm. No, sorry, line color. Okay. So this way, now I have already got this one. So I just uh, duplicate it, control this way. Mm, you just select a, a just need to middle one you need to take the middle one so basically uh, so now i need to integrate all uh, symbol right button then group it so this is the symbol and now i can copy it it to my word word face control c now you can see word So when you paste special, you need to paste special picture. Okay. So I, you can import it. You can uh, increase or decrease the size. Then resolution will same. No font or no issue. So you can draw it in uh, Microsoft Word because uh, uh, in Word there is a option also uh, uh, insert. You can also there is a shape, different kinds of shape. But problem is that in Word, if you if you decrease or increase the shape or any text, then then the text or array size would become uh, may may become bigger or uh, bigger or smaller. Some resize there is a big issue of resolution and other issue. But if we can draw any picture in uh, Microsoft Visio, then and paste in word then automatically increase or decrease then there is no big issue uh, there is no uh, uh, misalignment so it's a big issue for using the uh, microsoft video so do you do you have any confusion do you understand the video uh, just basic uh, i think working working procedure do you understand yes sir yes sir okay so and if you need any decision making symbol i think uh, uh, yeah, uh, so you can put it decision making, no problem. And if you need to add a especially add a symbol, so you need to select this line, and also you need to select the weight size. Then you need to select the arrow, which arrow I want. Then I need to draw. Okay. And when you want to uh, change or modify it, anything, anything, uh, just select this pointer tool, and this one, the, this is the select option. 
okay and then you can change change it any any type of uh, color or any any weight issue or do, uh, both a direction if you need both a direction then you you can change so this is the just basic basic issue to draw a flow chart for uh, video do you have any confusion or any anything no sir so in this way suppose i am uh, working here the basic flow chart so you can use another another type of uh, issue uh, if you need any other type of uh, drawing so you can go uh, you can uh, select any other issue suppose basic issue you can also use uh, different kinds of symbol here you see different kinds of basic shape so from the uh, from rectangle or any other issue or heptagon right just click uh, uh, dra uh, drag the icon and then press the text and also you can use this connector symbol if you need any this kind of uh, line you can use this connector symbol and any uh, any any other symbol you can use uh, from this basic shape or arrow shape you can use sometimes uh, you need this this type of symbol for any presentation so uh, or this type of array arrow shape or declarative shape here is a declarative shape or any other shape because uh, in, in this software various types of shape is uh, available to work in uh, different kinds of uh, uh, solve the different kinds of issue so uh, you see the um, uh, any mathematical symbol you can use but uh, basic task is the uh, for flowchart we can use the basic flowchart symbol issue you can use this one or blank or any kind of uh, a template you can use okay basic symbol is this one but this is the basic uh, uh, just already uh, uh, already they have given a template you can change uh, you can uh, just change it based on your uh, requirements of your problem and then you can copy drag uh, duplicate it any uh, anything uh, you uh, if you have need so you see the connector symbol this is the connector symbol basically flowchart is not completed here that's why they have used this one so if your flowchart is big one then you can use uh, uh, after finishing this one just a you can use this one so uh, flowchart or the examiner or evaluator can understand that flowchart has not yet finished uh, here this is the just one portion ending and uh, again starting from here so the, and if i use off page difference that means uh, uh, from one page to another connecting symbol is this one okay do you have any uh, confusion or anything you need to no sir no sir no, sir. okay so now i have given some assignment i think of 430 i have given here some assignment uh, i will give, uh, give uh, i will add the, this assignment in google classroom uh, from 1 to uh, 30 so you need to solve both uh, you need to add the algorithm of this problem and also the flow chart by using this software and upload uh, you need to upload in in this uh, google classroom do you understand? Yes, sir. Sir, video the kore airport airport mane dite hobe. Ha ha. Sir, arek bari ekto bolven, bushte pari nai. This is the assignment. Total thirteen assignment I have given. You need to uh, write the algorithm in Word file, okay? And also you need to draw the flowchart in video file. Then you uh, you need to copy this uh, this way uh, from video of two you need to put here uh, the word file here word file uh, you need to write the algorithm here uh, i think you have already familiar with this word uh, what software ms word i think you have already familiar murad yes, sir, sir already okay yes sir Okay, then you need to draw, uh, you need to write here the algorithm, the, this program. Suppose this program algorithm is, uh, okay. So 
So I just show you a one algorithm. So this is the, I think th this is the good morning program algorithm. So you need to write the algorithm here. This is the algorithm part. So you need to write the problem. Write an algorithm and close chart to print the good money. Okay, so this is the algorithm. So right uh, left side you need to write the algorithm and right side you need to put the flow chart. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The cone format upload corbo. A doc file. Doc format. Doc file. So you need to draw the uh, flow chart in video. Okay, after that you need to copy and paste here. What in uh, you need to paste in what file what file? Okay. And algorithm you need to write uh, in what file? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any confusion or anything you need to ask? Sir, projon hole video ta kiwa me dekte baba. Poro borti the jehdu record hotse ekhon. Okay, I will upload in Google Classroom. So I will upload here in Classroom, Class Lecture. I will upload here. Sir, agar CIT three pal one er video ta upload kollo bhalo hi to agar class er. CIT. Okay, I will upload here. I think I already upload. Yes, oh, okay. Sir. Okay, I will upload here. So sir, yeah. chapter chapter three, sir, assignment. Ota ota amra jama di bona sir chapter three kotha bolsi I will give here today. Okay. Yes, so already I have given assignment one and assignment two. CIT seventy eight upload. Uh, uploaded five uh, uh, not yet this they are uh, they are not present uh shokot chami who is shokot chami only yet okay i ask him to turn in otherwise uh, not show in turned in option okay i will check all so I will upload in uh, Google Classroom class CC one one two. In uh, you can see uh, through uh, uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube. Okay, I will share here the link. So, do you have any any anything, any other issue? No, sir. The class lecture upload Google Classroom upload kore dilam ani shuvi dhoto. Today class. Yes, sir. Okay, I will upload it. No problem. And also, I will uh, send you a message that our class lecture is already uploaded. Yes, okay. Okay, sir. I, I will share also, I think, uh, the video software also. I will share here. Uh, you can download from my Google Drive. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay sir. So, okay, I think uh, we can uh, we'll end the class today. Uh, okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum sir. Uh, Assalamualaikum sir. Assalamualaikum sir. Assalamualaikum.